Hey everybody, what is going on? I hope you guys are all doing well and welcome to another tutorial video. In this video, I'll be explaining to you guys how you can sign up for Zoho. So let's get right into it. But first, let me just apologize since my voice is a bit messed up since I did come down with a bit of a cold, but that won't detract from this tutorial at all. I hope it isn't too noticeable to, to you guys, but without further ado, let's get right into it. So the first thing you want to do is visit the Zoho.com website. As you can see that this is where it leads me. And once you're here, all you have to do is click on the sign up button. Now, once you click here, you need to enter your email and a password, uh, which is your first sign in credentials. And then you can sign up for free. Of course, you have to agree to their terms of service and you need to check whether you would like to receive marketing uh, regarding Zoho products on your email. Now, once you enter these, you will be also uh, given the option to enter any other credentials, such as your full name, your phone number, your country, if you're using any of Zoho's uh, services, such as Zoho Books, for exa example, you will need to add those, uh, as well as a currency, in the case of Zoho Books, the standard currency of your business. And also, you can sign in using Google and uh, Microsoft accounts as well. So if you have those, you can freely enter Zoho uh, without any registration. You might need to uh, confirm your account or verify it through an email. However, that is very easy to do. Just check your email to do that. Uh, other than that, what you can do is just sign up for a general account here on Zoho and you'll have pretty much a wide en encompassing account on Zoho. And then for each service you use under the Zoho brand, you will need to set up your account in a bit different ways. Uh, as I've said, for Zoho books, you'll need to add some other information for uh, Zoho campaigns, you will need to add some different information and you will need to choose a subscription plan for I think each of them separately. So you can do that under the payment tab once you access your accounts. But in essence, that is pretty much all there is to it. It is very simple to do as with any other service. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll be seeing you guys next time.